Hi, it's Howdy Huey time. And we're gonna make some stuff and show you how we do it. Okay, here's a piece I did. I found this scale that uh, used uh, one of the many flea market type places I have down here. You know, I've been wanting to do a pinstriping video and yesterday my dryer crapped a bed and I have to take it to the scrap yard so I thought hey, it's kind of like a car service so I don't know what they're going to say at the scrap yard whether I don't think they're uh, going to turn me away because the thing's been pinstriped so anyway here's what uh, I come up with I like when I do a car or motorcycle uh, I want every design to be different something you really haven't seen before sometimes I fall back on certain designs uh, the one the feather and I like that one here I had no plan no sketch nothing I <laughs> just it's just kind of fun to pick up a brush and see what you come up with here I'm using uh, a Kafka most of this was done with a Mac uh, the Kafka is really great for tight curls and uh, He's pretty phenomenal pinstriper. I'm just an average Joe pinstriper. I've been doing it a long time, but if I was doing it every day, I'd probably get really good, but I'm just a mediocre striper. So when I get, I, you know, get some motorcycles, some cars here and there, but like I say, when I do that, I want to, I have a different design one little thing I've done over the years is uh, like when you're doing a car the front fender rear one side of the car uh, rather than run back and forth my memory isn't that great and I want to get them as close as I can so what I'll do is take a digital photograph after I've got one side done Take it, put it in a computer, or put it in CorelDRAW, flap it over in CorelDRAW, print it out, and now I don't have to do any running around. And it usually turns out a lot closer that way. I used to do a lot of running side to side until I figured that one out. This is, uh, <laughs> wonder what the people are going to say at the scrapyard. Probably nothing. <laughs> Just dumped the thing off and, oh, uh, that's a Kenmore dryer. And I was, uh, have a Kenmore washer. And I thought, oh man, I really don't want to have to buy a brand new dryer. So I went over to Habitat for Humanity, and if they didn't have the same dryer sitting on the floor, it was a little expensive, but uh, they're a good, it's a good cause. And it didn't even come with electric cord, but this, I took the cord off this one, put it on, that one works great. Got a lot of service out of that, had that, used that thing over nine years. I guess I'm getting off the pinstriping subject here, but I'm yeah I'm using uh, Mac here now, and I'm thinning with uh, 2001 one shot thinner and mineral spirits. Now when I'm done here, uh, I'll wash the. I dip that brush in uh, mineral spirits and then w wipe it out on a paper towel, rag, whatever. 
and get most of the paint out of the brush that way then I go back with uh, in the mis mineral spirits wash it out the best I can you're never going to get all that paint out of that brush uh, some guys use lacquer thinner I never do uh, lacquer thinner is really hard on a brush so I get all the paint I can out of it and then I go for motor oil uh, just the uh, motor oil gets in uh, with any paint that's left there and there's no way it can harden now the same thing when I go to use that brush again I'll um, wipe the give it one good wipe on a paper towel and then I just dip it in uh, mineral spirits real fast and then wipe that out again and then I'll go into the mineral spirits swish it around and uh, get to what's left of the motor oil that way you don't get too much motor oil in your thinner because that doesn't uh, <laughs> doesn't do your striping job any good with motor oil and the paint here I'm just messing around ran a couple double lines I used the yardstick sign painters favorite tool and just run my finger along the edge of that to get the long straight lines uh, when I did cars if they just wanted a double stripe down the side I did a few uh, just by use, setting that magnetic tape on the car uh, which you can't use on Corvettes or there's a few other cars today with plastic parts and if I can't use a magnetic roll I'll uh, just use uh, fine line tape and then just you can't run your finger along that but it gives you a visual guide and uh, but still it's never I'm not one that can make a perfect straight line down the side of a vehicle uh, the finesse tape I used to uh, use that quite a bit when I had a double stripe and because uh, it comes in one roll you lay that down and then you pull the transfer off it and that will uh, at least it, you might have uh, three pieces of tape with one tape holding them together and then you peel that one off and there's a perfect uh, double stripe down the side of the vehicle or it comes triple stripe quadruple uh, but I, I like to stick to the just the designs on the corners of the vehicle and truck down the cab and but it's just kind of fun to play around with and am I using here I guess I'm using that looks like the Kafka yeah here's the tight curls you can get with that Kafka uh, for just all-purpose striping uh, I still like the Mac or I have a brand that's called the China that was one of my favorite brushes I think the more I use this Kafka, I could get used to it. Now I think I'm back with the Mac here. I'm kind of anxious to take this thing to the dump. Yeah, this is the Kafka here. you can get some really nice curls with that thing or thick and thin almost use it more up on the, just the point of it that's the end so don't be a f get off your fat ass and do some striping <laughs>